Oracle cards are backwards. It's a message that's coming in. That's going to be strange. Is what I heard. So I had to come. I had to come and let y'all know what was going on. Y'all know ain't nothing but love here. Something strange going to happen today. And, and when it happened, it's, I, I feel like it's going to have a lot to do with labor. With labor. Labor. Labor pains. Labor day. Working. It's going to be some strange occurrences. Phantom labor. I don't know. I heard labor. I'm thinking labor day or somebody giving birth. We're going to see what's going on. No weapons formed against us shall prosper. No, 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 no. Not why I can hear. And what I am seeing is an Ace of Cups energy, an opportunity of love, a great love that will bring joy. Mind over matter, though. You got to transmute any negative energy that you have from um, past connections or, you know, these dates you've been going on. And you can't be fixated on any problems is what I'm seeing. Look at the quality. Stay strong and believe in yourself. You know, because this big flirt coming towards you, this big flirt coming towards you. But the G's want you to work on you in the meantime, in between time, and let success make the noise. You ain't got a shot from the mountaintops what you're doing. Mm -mm. And at the bottom of the deck, I got this elopement in secret, just the two of you. Just the two of you. But one of you... um. Will be keeping some um, health issues to yourself. No, it ain't that man's that we've been seeing. It's not what I'm hearing. It's not that man's that we've been seeing. It's some other sort of health issue. It is sexual in nature. It is. It is sexual in nature, though. But it's it's not that um H to I to B, y'all. It's not that. It's some health issues, though. That's a secret too. But it's like, keeping it to yourself ain't going to solve nothing. It is going to create an air of superior betrayal. Somebody going to be looking at you like, God dang, we done talked about everything else before we eloped. But this health issue. But this health issue. <laughs> Whatever is going on with the health. We done talked about everything Labor, Labor Day, working. I don't know, but you better get ready. You, you you better get ready because you may not even... Look, I'm looking at love is the portion. I'm looking at love is the portion. The camera backwards, y'all. Love is the portion. This Ace of Cups energy. You having a... If it don't mind, it don't matter type attitude, right? Big ass flirt. Big ass flirt. <laughs> Let's see. Humble. Thinking of you. Missing you. Hmm. Sagittarius. Some pleasant memories. A renewal stage in a connection. Someone you've been knowing for a, quite a long time. Quite a long time you're going to reconnect with Ace of Cups energy, an opportunity of great love. An opportunity of great love going to bring you joy. Meeting other minds, an intellectual conversation, a discussion, a talk about truth and loyalty. Capricorn. It's like the character. It's, it's like a character in a movie. It's like characters in a movie. You, you know, y'all... Y'all story is like a movie. A movie, it is. Victory, success, and advantages out here, just as long as you're not keeping any secrets, is what I'm hearing. Something, yeah, because that's not going to be worth your time. That's not going to be worth your time. You're going to be using the wrong amount of energy to, um, to corrupt this connection. Somebody is very... 
accomplish using their spiritual eye too. You did you hear me? That's what they do. This is the person that you're gonna connect with. They all about their religion. They successful too when it comes to that third eye. This person is very humble, very gentle, very loving, very kind. Mm-hmm. They fuck around and be like, you're not worth their time if you're not keeping it absolutely gangsta. It's something you've been wishfully thinking about too, but you can't rely on this, this um, sucker deluxe energy, male or female, from yesteryears. That's, that's that evil part of you. You were supposed to have shadow box, is what the G's said. You were supposed to work out those areas, is what is what the G's just said. Because this person coming towards you, is coming towards you to balance you out. To balance out your resources. You know what I'm saying? This person has great intentions. So you're going to have to keep it absolutely gangster with them about whatever type of uh, new health guidelines that you may have. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, or it will be a shit brick road. It will be a shit brick road. Um, hmm. Earth sign, dealing with a fire sign. I, I'm also seeing this shit brick road, but it was reversed. This shit brick road was reversed. So it's just how long will you mourn me? But you know, if I don't have anything written for it to be turned around, it's always supposed to be upright. This is some past energy, though. You know, some past energy. July Cancer. New health guidelines. Mm-hmm. But this elopement. This elopement here, you got some mail that you need to open. You do. You got some mail that you need to open. A letter, a text. This is going to help you with balancing out as well. Something that you've been wishing, hoping, and thinking about. That's going to bring some success. I, I heard you saw it coming already. <laughs> I heard you saw it coming already, goddammit. Um, cancer. Something went on in cancer season. Something went on in cancer season with a cancer as well. Um, up under the roof, got to do with, you know, family life, love life, home life. You know, somebody was not happy. They weren't. They weren't happy at all. This bond that they've been in, this relationship that they've been in since last fall. Somebody is very um, alert. They spidey senses, that third eye, they, they, that old school knowledge. This person right now is thinking about um, this elopement, this, this engagement, this, this, this marriage in secret. This marriage in secret that somebody already hit to. Um, mm -hmm. Somebody's trying to hide that they married their one night stand. Yeah, I feel like somebody's trying to hide that they married their one night stand. This person could be a Leo. You could be a Leo. It's a Leo involved. It is. It's a Leo involved. Um, it's been some endings. It has. It's been some endings, and it's a lot that's going on on Flexbook. I call Facebook Flexbook, y'all. Um, somebody's scared to talk to you about some sort of engagement that you know nothing about. This might be somebody who still flying, trying to flag, fly up your uh, flagpole. You know what I'm saying? Somebody want to tell you about what's new in their life. This this elopement, folk ain't going to see this coming. This is a new love. A new love, a young love. Maybe with somebody on your street, a neighbor. This is somebody in your community, someone who just, you know, shit. It's someone new to you. Someone new to you. Y'all gonna elope. Y'all elope. Take it where it resonates. Don't lie. Don't lie about shit. Because this person that you will be marrying, that you will be saying I do to, Gemini's involved as well. Um, 
this person is heavily supported by their spiritual team and they do receive messages from multi dimensions. Do you understand what I'm saying? So don't lie. <laughs> don't lie to them. Don't lie to them. That's going to ruin everything. That will ruin everything. Yeah. The Jesus saying remove yourself from those from from that from those characteristics from that part of your life from you being a, a fucking lippity liar. From you being a lippity liar, you won't have any success this new phase in your life. But this elopement, it it is it, it, it happened. It it's happening. It's happening and I feel like somebody is ready to remove themselves. I don't know if it's the 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 male or the female. Um, but somebody or somebody in your family ready to remove themselves. This mm, shit. It's like, you know, it's a lot of people in your business too. It's a lot that's going on in your community. There's some shit that's being wrapped up. There's some shit that's being wrapped up. A Scorpio can be involved as well. Somebody right now is doing some healing. I feel like. I feel like with these new health guidelines, somebody has uh has had some sort of um procedure done or maybe healing from some sort of sickness, you know what I'm saying? Um people in the family catering to them. This person is 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 like the matriarch or the patriarch. This person, you know, can be said to be called the glue. But they ain't never keeping nothing, you know, together. Is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. You you're not on the same page with your mother in law, your father in law, your sister in law, the in laws. You're not on the same page with them, but you know shit. You like family over everything. I'm I'm a, I'm I'm gonna make sure that I stay in this in this um in this high vibing energy. Is what I'm hearing. Mm -hmm. Religion, this money and this business though with this family. Is someone new who has been introduced? Someone new who has been introduced. Twelve fifteen. I just saw on the clock. Pisces is involved as well. This person could be a neighbor on your street. This could be you. Take it where it resonates. I got Leo. I got Sagittarius. I got Gemini. Mm -hmm. There's a Scorpio involved too. Who has been trying to oppress unions? This Scorpio is a jilted lover. This this Scorpio was someone who who can't keep a man, who can't keep a woman, is what I'm hearing. Somebody who was desiring you, been desiring you since the spring, mm hmm, since the beginning of the spring. It's been a lot of illusions with this person, but this person is trying to take an opportunity now to you know kind of like place themselves in your family. This person is a liar, a thief, a cheater. This person, you know, I feel like this person gave somebody a, a, a wedding gift that was like, what kind of gift is this? What kind of gift is this? Mm, somebody gave somebody a gift. And was, they was like, what kind of gift is this? Again, don't lie. Don't lie to this person that you about to be hitched to. As the old saying goes, ball and chain. This, this person... Whether they are male or female, highly intuitive, mm -hmm. highly intuitive. A Libra is involved as well. Um, a Libra on the outside looking in. A Sagittarius is healing. I'm feeling like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is is desiring a beginning elsewhere. There's been some some Jews dropped. Some fairy favors. Ancestors are nudging. Spirit guides are lighting um, corridors up for you to evaluate this connection, evaluate the people around you, observe your surroundings, and pay attention to you. There's still a lot that you need to learn within this um, love life of yours. It's not square love, is what the Jesus is saying. In old ways, it's not going to open no new doors. Mm mm. Don't backtrack into your uh yesteryears, your your bag of uh bag of tricks. Yeah, I said it. Your bag of tricks or any repertoire that you had in yesteryears. The G said you were for knocking head to even try to bring back the spirit of the wild is what I just heard. You on the envoy, you on a trip. The G said you tripping too. 
The G says you tripping like a mug. You tripping like a mug. And this is why. Motherfuckers ain't true. It's been endings already, right? Yeah, it has. It's been endings already. And it's because people ain't true. The G said focus backtracking. Focus backtracking. Folk backtracking trying to trying to resuscitate a do not resuscitate relationship. God damn it, you wasn't supposed to bring it back to life. The G says you asked for most high's help. You wanted your, you, you you wanted to be nourished. You wanted some new beginnings. You wanted to be happy. You wanted to have some inner peace. The G said get about your own way. Don't imprison your thoughts. Don't imprison your thoughts, the G's is saying. You got somebody who's really angry at you. Feminine energy could be a male energy. They're young, though. They're young. They've been plotting on you since the beginning of the summer. Stay alert, the G's is saying. Pisces, stay alert. This person been plotting on you since the end of the summer. Mm -hmm. Beginning of the summer, excuse me. It's time for you to back up. Back up. Yeah, it's time for you to back up is what the G said. It's a lot of spiritual law that's taking place. Somebody going through a lawsuit too. Somebody going through a lawsuit. I'm 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 feeling like it's a lot of it's it, it's too it's too many issues. It's a lot of burdens. And it's like a motherfucker rather keep their foot on your neck instead of, you know, bring some sort of fortunate occasions to your personal realm of being, but I'm seeing justice, spiritual justice. Aries, seeing spiritual justice. Somebody is a, a, a dark, young, immature, just sycophant. This person fucked off in the head. They they are. They, they fucked off in the head and they got evil intentions towards the collective, period. Mm-hmm. This elopement in secret, just the two of you, that wasn't um, that wasn't uh, an instruction from Most High, is what I heard. Mm -mm. Nope. But you asked for Most High's help. This Libra. This Libra is like your karma. This Libra is your karma. This Libra has been your karma for a while. Somebody was born in '76. Possible Aries. I'm seeing this person, um, this Aries, you know, I'm, it, it, it's somebody who young, dumb, and full of calm, and all they thinking about is how they looking, mm-hmm, how they looking, you got this Libra up all night, this Libra up, <coughs> excuse me, this Libra, this air sign is up, this air sign is pissed about this elopement, something was supposed to happen stopped something was supposed to have stopped with this Libra and it didn't I'm trying to tell you whoever this person is that you eloping with that you have eloped with or you plan on marrying you better keep that shit absolutely motherfucking gangster because this person got old school knowledge they third eye is popping period they are very intuitive very intuitive and the jesus said that is fortunate that is fortunate for you that's fortunate for you is what the jesus is saying somebody pissed off about some coins you got a message coming this is gonna put a smile on your face it is it's gonna put a smile on your face aquarius it's gonna put a smile on your face um but it's gonna be something irritating you about uh your health or somebody else's health? Yeah, because it's a lot of weak, petty, stupid-ass motherfucking behavior concerning some health issues, man. The police may be called, but it's showing sure up a gavel coming down because uh, spiritual laws have been tainted with, universal laws are, are, are um, being maneuvered and shit, you know? Motherfuckers trying to use the law of attraction and manifest their best life, but they all in this stank ass energy. Liars. Mm hmm. The G said, get ready though. You got gifts coming. You do. You got gifts coming, and you better pay attention. 
pay attention because you, you can't be lying to this intuitive person. <laughs> That'll change your whole world. That'll change your whole world. Mm -hmm. These family issues. I'm hearing the best thing is for you to, you know, disconnect for a while. You know what I'm saying? Go on and, go on and chill out. Get your faculties together. Look at it from uh, different angles and perspectives. What's going on in your family? Because if somebody showing up, then gift to somebody with some what the fuck energy. Because mm -hmm. somebody is like, what the fuck part of the goddamn game is this? Highly pissed. Highly pissed. What else, Sean? Yeah, the Jesus said, "Don't be no goof troop. Don't be no for knocking head. Don't be no dummy. Somebody is going. Somebody elope real quick, or will elope real quick. This Pisces, mm, mm, mm. But somebody also going to the clink. Somebody going to prison. That could be the reason for this elopement. That was your message. See you.